Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today I want to talk to you about prime and composite numbers. Now, the counting numbers, or natural numbers, those are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Those can be classified as either prime or composite. A prime number is one that has only two factors, the number 1 and the number itself. And a composite number is any number that has more than two factors. So let's just start at the beginning and see what happens. Now, the number 1 is considered neither prime nor composite. It's a special case. So, let's go to the number 2. 2 has only two factors, 1 and 2. So, 1 and the number itself. That means that 2 is a prime number. Now, since 2 is a factor of every other even number, that means that all other even numbers are not prime. They're composite. 2 is the only even prime number. What about 3? 3 has only two factors, 1 and 3 itself, so that means 3 is a prime number. 4 is even, and we know 2 is a factor of 4, so it's composite. 5 is also a prime number. In fact, the first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 9 isn't because 3 goes into 9, 11, 13, 17, etc. There are infinitely many prime numbers. Now, to determine if a number is prime, you have to find out if it has any factors besides one in itself. There's no real magic way to do that when you're dealing with large numbers. You just have to do some division and see if you can find a factor. But one thing that can help shorten it is to use tests for divisibility. There are tests that you can do to determine if something is evenly divisible by 3 or 4 or 8 or 6 or 5 or 10. So those tests can be handy when you're trying to determine if a number is prime or composite. And that's some information on prime and composite numbers. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want more information on any of the topics, click on any of the links below. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. If you have a specific request, send it to requests at mahalo.com. And I'll see you next time.